A News 5 crime alert and breaking news. A fourth person has been arrested for a drive-by shooting in Milton. The shooting happened back in February. It killed one man and injured two others. 19-year-old Melissa Pocopani is facing homicide and other charges. Tonight, Haley Minogue spoke with family members of the man killed, Thomas Buckhalter. It's a story you'll see only on News 5. I spoke with two of Thomas Bughalter's family members who say the pain of the loss is still very fresh for them, but hearing that arrests are being made is bringing them some justice. They said they're going to do it. They sure enough did it. They took their time, but, you know, took their time. They made sure the T's were, you know, crossed and the I's were dotted before they get the ones they needed to get. Buckhalter's cousin Paula King was just feet away when Thomas Buckhalter was fatally shot in February. She said immediate action from investigators has gone a long way in the community. It was his job, but he did that from his heart. You know, and everybody, he kept everybody calm around here, so it wouldn't be no kind of race war or nothing like that. Thomas's sister, Julia, says every arrest eases her pain. A lot of murders go unsolved here in Santa Rosa with our black males. But God knows the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost that I pray to ain't going to let that go with my brother. She says there's nothing like a mother's pain when they lose a child. But the multiple arrests, with more arrests on the way, are bringing their family peace at night. And for her to have to bury her baby, whatever they get, they get, you know. Mm -hmm. And I hate that, but it is what it is. Those family members told me they're especially thankful for the investigators from the Milton Police Department for their hard work and dedication in the last few months. Reporting in Milton, I'm Haley Minogue, News 5. A man suspected of shooting another.